Hey guys, can you believe it? There are still more Emily Awards to be given out, and this time it is for lip products. I know a lot of us get really excited about lipsticks and glosses because in many cases, you know, even from the drugstore, they're not too pricey, and it's just the type of thing that's really easy to apply. It doesn't take a lot of know-how, so I'm going to hopefully give you some suggestions of some things you can add to your collection, uh, or maybe you already have them. Maybe you've heard me talk about them before. So let's get started first, um, and there is in most of these a high-end and a low-end favorite, but for some there aren't. But first category is Best Lip Balm, and my high-end favorite is from a brand that I reviewed uh, can't remember exactly at what point this year I reviewed it, but they do a lot of natural skincare stuff, and it's called Silk Bee. It's available online, and they have two kinds of lip balm, a classic silk version and the Elan Vital version, and it's very, it's natural. It's not going to be one of those crazy scented lip balms, but it is has been something that has been like a winter standby for me when my lips have been their driest. It is just super moisturizing. It works so well. Um, I will have links in it to all the information on all the products I talk about. If you go to the sidebar and click the link to my blog, you'll find more. But this is a really, really great moisturizing lip balm on the high-end scale. And then for um, a drugstore lip balm that I really like, uh, there are so many. I really, really love lip balm, but I had to go with soft lips. Uh, there's lots of different scents and stuff, but I love the packaging. I like the scent of this particular particular one, which is sugar cookie, but it just glides on really smooth, and um, if if it's not silky, it's sometimes this that I reach for before I like line my lips so the liner goes on really smooth, so really good options there. Um, and then for tinted lip balm, I don't have a high-end favorite, but I think you can probably guess what my drugstore favorite is because I've been talking about it a lot lately, recommending it and blogging about it, and it is without a doubt, I didn't even have to think hardly at all about this, it's the Palladio Herbal Tinted Lip Balm. This stuff is so good, available at Sally's, comes in several colors, goes on with the color that is practically like lipstick type color, but it feels like a lip balm. It's wonderful. The shade I have here is called Bronzy Pink. Uh, I have swatches of more shades on my blog if you just look back in my blog a little bit, um, but these are just wonderful. Can't say enough good things about them. Your lips are going to feel great if you wear those. Now for lip liner, I believe that's my next category. Once again, I don't have a high-end uh, lip liner favorite. It's usually the type of thing, if I need it, I run to the drugstore. And a couple of brands that I like, this will be a tie. One is a, is a two-time winner from last year, and it's Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner, uh, especially the shade in Ravish. If you are looking for a good red lip liner, a nice way to really finish off a red lip and make it really, really pop and look super clean and finished, I would recommend the Exaggerate Lip Liner in Ravish. It's the perfect red shade. It's not too terribly, like, bright cherry tomato type red, but it is just just right. I feel like it'll really blend with your favorite red lip color and really make the look nice and polished and very inexpensive too. And speaking of inexpensive, a brand where most of the products are available for like two for three dollars, at least at my Walgreens all the time, and it's Jordana. They have a great color selection on their lip liners and it's the Easy Liner. That's my favorite kind from them. A couple kinds. One kind that I have on now that's really the main source of this color color on my lips is uh, the Easy Liner in Plush Plum. That's a good shade. I also like Baby, Baby Berry for a good classic pink uh, lip liner, but just super cheap, really good. I don't notice a lot of like feathering issues or anything like that, but they're just really nice. Um, nice and creamy and can be used alone with just a gloss on top for a good look there. Okay, next we're talking best overall lipstick. Um, so I'm going to just say it's not going to come down to certain shades. It's just going to be what lipstick do I like for its formulation and um, color selection and staying power. You know, just various factors came into play here. For high end, I am going to go with MAC on this. Um, so many shades to choose from. I I haven't tried a lot, but the shades I've tried, like Angel, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous light pink. Um, I love the scent. It's sort of a somewhat sweet uh, scent, almost thinks me, makes me think of vanilla a little bit. Um, but they just, they, I feel like they have really good staying power without being one of those long-wearing lip colors. And 
they're just so creamy and so pigmented. The other one that I've tried recently, Ruby Woo, a great, great red. Uh, so I just really, really enjoy the MAC lipsticks. And if you have some favorite shades, feel free to let me know because that's sort of a brand that I'm still getting into, but I definitely know that I like those lipsticks. From the drugstore, it's going to be a tie. Uh, <laughs> one, one kind that I've really liked for... I don't know if it's been more than a year now, but um, either way, really like the brand from Rimmel. It's the uh, Lasting Finish Lipstick, and lots of great colors. I have quite a few. This one that I have here happens to be Vintage, which is just a nice light pink with a little bit of shimmer to it. Nice nude pink. Um, these really do last. They have a nice scent. They go on smooth. Uh, they're very moisturizing, too, which is something I like a lot. And then also for its moisture color selection and just bold pop of color you can get out of these lipsticks. I had to tie the Rimmel with the Maybelline Color Sensational. Relatively new product out in drugstores. Uh, they look like this. They have these caps that depending on the shade you get, they're a little different color on the cap. Um, I have Party Pink, which I fell in love with. It's a gorgeous kind of like fuchsia slash deep rose really goes on with a lot of bold color and feels really good on the lips other shade i like is born with it i've recommended this to a lot of people pinky nude very nice and natural um i'm excited to continue to try some different shades from that line as well best overall lip gloss uh the high-end favorite is going to be i mean when i say high-end this is a pricey one it's nars um when I, the first one i tried ever was turkish delight a nice light pink gloss and i shelled out for it and i really felt happy that i did uh, i really do enjoy the way this goes on it goes on very smooth it, it's able to actually I feel like the staying power is better than some of those lip glosses that um, are so slick that it seems like they just kind of move around on your lips and before you know it they're gone. So this has just enough of a little bit of stickiness to stay on but it's not annoyingly sticky by any means. And so I knew I liked this shade but then I got a sampler set for Christmas, tried a few more colors like Dolce Vita this one and I knew that okay this is a really great brand and I'm very happy with a range of colors that they offer so I'm gonna say NARS for my overall high-end favorite for lip gloss for low-end same brand but a couple of different lip gloss lines within the brand um, uh, this is a two-time winner it's the Revlon super lustrous lip gloss if you haven't tried this kind of lip gloss, and maybe you're maybe you're all on high-end lip glosses, but you haven't really tried much from the drugstore, I think you will be pleasantly surprised with the Revlon Super Lustrous. Great quality. The one I'm holding up here is Pink Afterglow. I like their shade selection. I've tried almost all the shades in that and have been satisfied with every one that I've tried. So some of them are a little more sheer Pink Afterglow. We'll go on a little more sheer. Some of them are a little more opaque. I also like the fact that some have the shimmer and a little bit of sparkle in it and others don't. So you have some options there. Um, and then later on in the year, I don't know, it's probably about mid-year, I, I started to fall in love with the Revlon Color Stay Mineral Lip Glaze. What makes these different from Super Lustrous, they have a little more staying power. They are a little bit thicker. The color is very smooth. You're not going to run into a whole lot of, of sparkle. While they have some very fine shimmer, the two I'm holding up here are a couple of my favorites. One is in Eternal Blossom and the other is in Lasting Shimmer. I've recommended them both at different times and they are just, you can see they got that fine shimmer but they go on very creamy. I really, really like those. Next, we're going to talk about Best Lip Plumper. I do not have a high-end favorite on this, but my drugstore favorite is going to have to go to Maybelline for the volume. I think it's called Volume Seduction XL. It's got some really long name that I'll have to like put down and make sure I get it correct in my blog. But um, they've got a couple of shades here that I have. Number 705, number 115 for just a nude and a pink favorite that I like. Um, these really do. You do feel the plumping action. You feel the tingle. Tingle's not for everyone. If you don't like that, 
you may not want a plumper. You may just want to go for it like one of the lip glosses I recommended in a similar shade to these. But I do like the color. The amount of color, especially with this pink shade, is fantastic. You really are getting some pretty pink color, and you do get some plumping action going on there. So, like I said, not for everyone. I'm not saying run out and get it, but if you know you like that kind of thing, it might be something to try. Next, I'm going to run through, and I'm going to try not to spend too much time on any one of these, but I wanted to give some specific shade favorites since until now I know I've rec I've mentioned some specific shade names but I've really been talking in overall brands and lines within brands but now I wanted to mention specific shades for different color families I'm going to give a favorite gloss and a favorite lipstick for um, pink, plum, red, and neutral colored lip looks. Not necessarily to be worn together. They definitely could, but that's not like my thing here. I'm just going to give you my favorite. Not going to say, you know, high end or low end. It's going to be a little bit of each. For pink on the lipstick, MAC Angel. Really nice, soft pink. Goes on very evenly, very smooth, and has nice staying power. And then the gloss with that. I really like NARS Turkish Delight with that, but I wanted to give a low-end option that is very close to Turkish Delight that goes on very much the same way, and it's Neutrogena Moisture Shine Lip Gloss in Groove. Very, very similar color there, so if you like a nice, affordable light pink, I wanted to make sure I mentioned that option. For plum colors, uh, this is a, has been one that I've gotten so much good out of throughout the entire year, and it's the um, Lasting Finish Lipstick from Rimmel in Metallic Seduction. You're looking here at a nice kind of reddish plum shade. It has a beautiful shimmer to it. It goes on very well. I've had this on numerous times and been asked, what's what's that on your lips? And it, it really is an interesting, sort of unusual, but really pretty plum tone. So I recommend that. And then a gloss that I love that has been blogged about and mentioned before is the e.l.f. Super Glossy Lip Shine, which does have SPF 15 in Mauve Luxe. Um, it's just kind of, it doesn't have a lot of shimmer. It has a, maybe a very, very fine kind of pearly sheen to it, but not outwardly shimmery. Nice and creamy. I like the way all of these super, super glossy lip shines go on. For red, lipstick, my favorite, and I've been recommending this a lot lately. I think people must just be kind of trying to get into the red lipstick thing a little bit more. But it's from NYC, and it's the Ultra Moist Lip Wear in Sheer Red. This is a great red. I love this. You can find this at the drugstore for right around a dollar, maybe just a hair more than a dollar. I don't know, but I really, really like this red. It's, it's very smooth, creamy, not shimmery. It's just a cream lipstick. And then a great gloss um, <laughs> that is so, I mean, it is red and it is just dazzling. It's from Be Luscious and it's in red velvet. You're looking at the shade here. You can see how it's got that definite blue undertone in the sparkle and shimmer with this. This just screams holiday lip look, and this could take you through the winter as well. Just want to show you just how sparkly that is. It has a nice brush tip applicator, and it's just gorgeous. Very, very beautiful lipstick or lip gloss on. Now for my neutral picks, um, a, a lipstick that really didn't get maybe as much love in this segment as I would have liked. If I could have just, you know, kept putting in ties and <laughs> with all my things, that would have helped. But I had to stop somewhere, so I thought I wanted to include the Eyes, Lips, Face, Elf. Um, it's the mineral lipstick in Nicely Nude. And it's these lipsticks are really great. If you haven't experimented with them, if, I know ELF does a lot of different sales on their website. And next time they do a mineral sale, check out the lipsticks because they're very smooth. They feel very much like a lip balm. And the color is nice, too. And if you're looking for a good nude type lipstick, this one is a good pick. It's called, again, Nicely Nude. And then the lip, the lip gloss that I think um, I did a blog about, if I could only have one lip gloss, this would be, would be what it is. It's Jordana, you know, the super cheap, like $1.99 uh, brand at Walgreens. The shade is lovely. It's the Pretty Shine Lip Gloss. Look at that gorgeous shade it has. I found something very similar in a high-end version. It's from Lancome, and it's the Color Fever Lip Gloss in Heat Stroke. <laughs> 
They're almost the same, but I wanted to talk about this one because I think it's really, really good quality for the price. So that's from Jordana, Pretty Shine Lips, Lip Gloss in Lovely, and it is sort of a neutral, kind of with some mauve tones in it, but overall I'd call it kind of a neutral, natural uh, lip gloss. So I hope you liked my favorites for lips for the Emily Awards of 2009. I know these videos have been kind of long, but I appreciate you uh, hanging around to see what my favorites are, and don't forget you can go to my blog for more information.